Lovely, so it's been a while. Um, it's been about two months because I got a job and I didn't read as much as um, I probably should have done. Because, uh, I, well, I still have read, I've heard, I've read quite a few books since then. I haven't been constantly reading, I've had to do other things too. Um, so, yeah. Um, and I've, but I'm still writing my, on that book blog, but I've been taking a hiatus from my film one because I, have nothing, I don't really watch films anymore, um, at least not at the moment. Um, and a fair while ago, um, I read a book called The Swallow and the Hummingbird by Santa Montefiore. It's kind of basically these two people who are supposed to be in love, um, and it's like the war, the chap comes back and he's kind of emotionally tormented by the war and then he goes back to Argentina, he goes to Argentina and marries a, a woman who's got a scar on her face and it kind of has ramifications down the years and all that sort of stuff and I just have to say I didn't really like this book. The main, the main guy was um, not very nice, he, um, he was just very frustrating as a character, he kind of mocked, he didn't outwardly mock her but he kind of mocked it in his inner in a, his inner thoughts he was mocking his the woman who loved him for sort of waiting for so long for him, it was a bit silly because it was like she gave up her life to wait for him and then he didn't kind of and he suddenly decides that he doesn't really want her anymore it's sort of a bit stupid um and um yeah, and the main woman was a bit of a doormat because she literally spent her whole entire life, she spent her, her whole entire life waiting for him. It, but what was probably most frustrating, uh, Rita, who's the main, the main woman, she was so annoying. Like, longed for this guy for years, even though he obviously gave no indication that he even liked her anymore. You know, it's just kind of really stupid. Um, and the fact that she kind of defines herself by her sort of love or infatuation for him and she even like nearly commits suicide of this guy it's just like that, that he's not even worth it it's he, he just was so hollow as a character there was no i mean i just hated her motivations for doing things um and even when he went off to argentina and, and married this woman i think she's an american she had a scar she's on her had a scar on her face and he only does it because he thinks he can rescue her from like herself. It's just like she should be strong enough to do that for herself. She should just need a man to do it. Uh, like there was a young sister, I believe, who she was quite. She was really interesting and she had really a lot of potential. I would have even. I'd love to read a story from her perspective because she, I think she goes off to like she goes to live in Africa or somewhere. And it's almost like an affirmation that oh she she was successful but she got married and had to kind of give it up. It's like. This character, these characters are awful. I hate them. It's just, and even like there's one character who suddenly decides that she she loves um, the this Argentinian chap who, um, you know, is living, who kind of owns the property that um, the main male protagonist goes to live at. Um, and it's a bit kind of daft. Suddenly, there's like there's no indication, but suddenly like it happens, and it's it's given. The reasoning that it's like witchcraft is like, I really believe you there. I really believe you. What else? I mean, so it has that kind of book smell. Kind of, not really. It smells of defeat. And also, there was another. There was another guy who I think he was meant to be a German who who had escaped to the UK, I think, or who's a Jew. I cannot remember. I wish I could remember, but I can't. It obviously wasn't important to my to my brain. And I think he was called Max. I think I did I actually I had to double check before I did this video to remember because I honestly couldn't remember. And he kind of I don't know what he does. I think he becomes a journalist or something, a writer or something. And like down the line, like in the sort of fifties and sixties or something. But the thing is though, is that like he waits for like thirty years to have to like tell this woman that like he likes her and that he's liked her as more than a friend it's just like even someone who has no spine at all could, would wait would not wait 30 years 
Um, and they also kind of gave him a, such a lack of traction in the meantime that I just couldn't really, I didn't really care. Like he wanted to, he wanted to kind of get back to Vienna, and I was like, I don't really care either. I don't care about that either. I just wish I just, I could care more, but I just don't. Um, and it's just frustrating as a book. I wanted to just like stop reading it in frustration, but I just want to finish. I'll, I'll finish a book, you know, even if it, even if I hate it. I mean, I've seen that the woman has done the center. Montefiore has actually done other books, but I've not really been motivated enough to want to read them as well. Because if it's if her stuff is as bad as this, I'm really not interested in reading anything that's probably so cut and paste that it's probably just the same book. But then actually, like it actually has its fair share of good moments. It wasn't completely awful, so I'm, I'm not going to completely hate it. Ever. I might hate it for a whole while though. There was like a sort of emphasis on the fact that um, this guy, the main guy, was suffering from like PTSD. Um, and while like that's an interesting aspect, I don't think it completely redeems him as a character for doing what he did to the woman because like she gave her life for him. I don't think the PTSD plot was like sufficiently explored enough. I think which is kind of always indicated. Oh yeah, he's do he's damaged, he's tortured, he's he's broken. He needs somebody to fix him. And then I think it kind of dealt very well with the with the whole idea of how like a small town reacts to conflict and how a small town kind of will rebuild itself. Um, you know, when bad stuff happens, like wars and stuff. I mean, I'm sure if, if you wanted, like, a romance that was, like, a romance story that, you know, you could read for, like, a couple of days and forget about, I think this would be the perfect book. Because, um, yeah, it's great if you want something to just to switch your brain off to, but if you want something a bit more, kind of, long-lasting, I think you should probably find another book to read, to be honest. Because without her romance with the chap, the main um, uh, Rita was like nothing. It was really weird. It was like her, she, it was also almost without him. She completely lost traction. Um, there was no kind of indication that she'd even had any other interactions with anybody else um, since like this guy goes off to Argentina. And it's all just a bit shit, really. Um, but yeah, that's this book reviewed. Um, I wanted, to, I mean, I'm glad I left it for a bit because I you didn't want to be all ranty about it and I feel I would have just got a lot, I'd probably rant, enjoy the ranting but not really enjoyed actually what I had to say, which is always a big help. Um, carry on doing more videos but I don't think I'm never scheduled like I did at uni because work is kind of the priority at the moment. Uh, I will see you when I see you. Bye.